welcome stats busters to question three and this one is all about place value here are four number cards two three four and seven Layla uses each card once to make a four digit number so you are not allowed to use any of the cards more than once only once she places four in the tens column two so that it has a higher value than any of the other digits and the remaining two digits so that seven has the higher value. Write a digit in each box to show Layla's number. Now this question can be made really simple if we think about place value. The digit on the end would have to be units, the, di the next digit would be tens, the next digit would be hundreds, and the first digit, which would be the biggest value digit, would be thousands. And now having said that, we can go back to the clues and see what we're going to do. So, clue number one. She places four in the tens column. Well, here's the tens column. So, four goes in the tens column. And now we'll cross four off because we can only use it once. We can't use four again. Two, so that it is a higher value than any of the other digits. Well, higher value means it needs to be in the column that's worth the most, which in this case is going to be thousands. So, the two has got to be in the thousands column and that would then automatically make it worth more than anything else because it's in a bigger valued higher valued column so now we've used the two we can't use the two again the remaining two digits so we've only got three and seven left so that seven has the higher value now it's all about the column headings we've got hundreds and units seven needs to be in the bigger one so it's got seven hundreds is obviously going to be bigger than seven units so 700 has got to go in the next biggest one that's left, which is hundreds. So seven's gone, and there's only one left, which is this three. So the three is left to go in the units column. So the number that Layla was thinking of was 2743. 2743.